Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today I'm going to show you guys how I repair air hoses and torch hoses. And when you have a lot of air hoses and torch hoses that you have to keep up with, it's pretty invaluable to have these types of tools in order to repair them. So we're going to be using a Linux tubing cutter. It's really made for PEX, but it works fantastic for cutting through rubber hose. And we're also going to be using a Milton ferrule crimper. Now that one runs about $135, but when you do a lot of air hoses, uh, it's pretty invaluable to have. And then we're going to be using the proper size ferrule in order to fix some 3 8 air hose. So before I get started, I wanted to show you what I was working on. This is a 3 8 inch uh, whip that we were using in the field. And to put it together, we had to just use regular hose clamps. And while that gets the job done, it's not the cleanest of looks. Whereas with, with the ferrule crimper and ferrule, uh, it's a much cleaner job and you don't have all these sharp edges, especially along that screw. This, especially when you're pulling hoses all, all over the place, they get hung up on everything. Uh, so it's, it's much better to keep it as smooth as possible. And this is a much cleaner and better connection. So I've already taken out the, uh, the female hose bar and gotten rid of this uh, clamp. And now we're going to use Linux cutters in order to make a nice clean cut on this one. And you can see... Just how nice and square that cut is, so it's a much, much better job. Next step is to take the ferrule, uh, properly sized ferrule, and we're going to get this on the hose. So this one is a little tight. Now, what we want to do uh, is we want to make sure that we seat that completely down on the hose. And to get it on there, I just have to get it twisted, and you can see that it's all the, well, it's not quite all the way up. Let me give it just a touch more. And now we're ready to crimp that connector together as soon as we get this little guy back in. Now let's put it together. Now that we've got the uh, barb back in and ready to go, all we have to do is set it in the proper size hole, get it seated up, and crimp it. And that is all there is to it. A much cleaner connection than that uh, hose clamp that we had on there before. So while these tools are a little pricey for this one, if you do a lot of hoses, uh, it's a pretty valuable tool to have. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. See you in the next one.